race day almost ready Caitlin are you almost ready I can't see anything here I don't know why. I like got the extravaganza today at the track South Georgia Motorsports we got Georgia's car out here Probably my parents G8 as you know bolt on car and in our car it's got a BTR2 installed and bolt tones getting ready for the morning yeah for the morning huh got the white G out yep Caitlin's favorite is the white one we probably got I bet we have 60 70 G8s already there's a lot of people here already I'm gonna try to leave here at 7 gates open at 8 and driver's meeting at 9 so we would like to be here in the car 7 leave get the car out at the track go ahead and nut bolt check it check the oil catch can etc be ready to run as soon as the doors as soon as they start putting people in the lane uh, G8 uh, extravaganza 2021 got George's car with the air shifter set up and check all fluids ready to make some first quarter mile passes and see how it works a good amount of people rolling in so that's nice Just made the first pass. I didn't get the GoPro, but April got the video, so I hope you guys just saw that. Um, ran pretty good. Short shift to two three, and um, a couple other little things we're working on now um, with uh, getting it done. We up to two three, and um, we're gonna make sure he goes out the whole quarter because it looks like he may have let out a little early. And then lastly, we're gonna leave about three thousand. That last launch was a two thousand RPM launch. About to make our second pass. Got some improvements. We'll see what's happening. Got some good improvements, improved about seven, eight mile an hour in the quarter. Um, so now that they're with that asylum twin turbo car, it is rolling, but we're trying to get everything dialed in. It's leaving lazy, so we're gonna try to actually use the two-step. We're gonna set it for about 2,500 and see what we can get from that. Hopefully get a little bit more lead because the 60 foot time's still only in the 149 range, almost a 150, so not leaving very hard at all. So that's our main Achilles heel right now. So we're gonna cool, we're cooling it off, take it, change it a couple things and gonna try it again soon. All right, that's good.
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeah, do three. Yeah. 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 Oh, you want to do like 32? Yeah, it wants more. Like, yeah. it's got to leave on boost. Yeah. So, we'll, Chris will be able to see how much boost it's making at 25. And you were on the floor, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I said we should do. It didn't. It wasn't fine. It was good. It's only, it's only making 119 maps, so it's only making like a, one and a half pounds of boost. That's not sure. So, let's do like 32. Yeah, it's only making one and a half pounds of boost. All right, one to two shift. One to two. All right, Dusty. The only thing that I'm wondering on, or that one, two, perfect again. Three, four, I mean, two, three is still 67. Bump it on up. We need to bump the thing up to 7,200-ish, I guess, to make it make it shift. Yeah. All right. And then, here's the other weird thing. The converter must just be at this point. Cause see, it's just down to six, or 5,900. It's and by coupled the, right there. It's, yeah, it's just all of that's all it'll get. See, it doesn't raise any RPM. What's but the boost do right there? Uh, 15 pounds. Does it hold 15 pounds? Yeah, it's pretty much 15 pounds all a third gear. Exactly like we wanted, but yeah, we had a good time and car great. staying together. It's running great. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. We're gonna get some converter adjustments oh, yeah. and uh, go from there. In high gear, it's sort of just coupling together, dropping to 5,900 RPM no matter where we shift it, and sort of lugging the engine down. So we just yeah, we'll get a loosen the converter up to where we can. Yeah, that feels better to where we can get in third gear and sort of be around 6,500, 6,600, and it'll make more boost. That'll help us out some. So we're gonna make some final little adjustments and put it back in, but that launch we left at a 3,200, pulled the wheel a little bit and much happier. Also a looser converter will help us with that 60 foot because we're having to really lean on it to get a decent 60 to where before, you know, you could leave off an of idle and it's slime, you know, it'll uh, go ahead and, um, Slip on up, so yeah, we'll get it. That's street car life.